California continuing to implement harsh restrictions against churches that dare defy Governor Gavin Newsom's shutdown orders. And one of those is God's Peak Calvary Chapel. I'm going to talk all about what happened here. Before I go any further, guys, if you enjoy my daily video content I provide for you here on YouTube, I encourage you help support my ministry on Patreon. You can do so for as little as just $5 a month at patreon.com slash conservative truth. Link in the description, guys. You're going to get access to all my bonus content where I talk a lot more about sensitive information. We get around the YouTube sensors there. You always get the alerts and notifications for anything that's posted. Unlike YouTube, you're not going to get all the alerts and notifications. So you got to check my channel on a regular basis so you don't miss anything. And I guarantee you, you have missed a lot of videos. So when you get done watching this one, browse my channel to see what it is you've missed. Now, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blunt. Now, let's talk about the situation here in California, specifically Ventura County, Thousand Oaks. You have Godspeak Calvary Chapel. Recently went to court here just a couple of days ago. The judge ruled and has now granted a TRO, a temporary restraining order against the church because they dared to hold indoor in-person church services. That's right. Now, up until now, up until recently, uh, they have been hosting at least 200 people inside of the church. Now, this is a church that can hold thousands of people, okay? So they decided we're going to hold 200 people. Uh, you know, they were, you know, doing everything as far as the distancing and everything like that. And they were complying with all the guidelines. But of course, that wasn't good enough. Their county, Ventura County, has been declared one of those counties that Governor Gavin Newsom said is too much of a risk and had ordered that those churches be shut down. Now, the judge has said that because of this restraining order, they are no longer allowed to hold any church services inside of their building. They can be outside somewhere uh, as long as social distancing is put into place and everybody's wearing a mask. Uh, but the pastor here, Rob McCoy, argued that what are we supposed to do? Take 1,500 people to some park? Because what, what park is going to hold us? It's just, it's not feasible. He says, we're not going to do the whole drive-in church thing where everybody's just sitting there in their cars. It's not going to happen. He even pointed out the fact that nobody in their church has tested positive for this thing. Everybody has been absolutely fine. They're doing all the, you know, they're following all the guidelines, but it does not matter to those judges. Now, this is the big thing with what uh, Pastor Rob said here. He said, uh, you know, we don't want to do this, but we are going to defy the court's restraining order, and we will be holding in-person services this Sunday, August the 9th. So, he knows he's at risk. It's a possibility he could be arrested. He put out a video about this too. I'll put a link to that in the description if you guys would like to watch it. But he kind of joked with the congregation and said, look, come on down. He's like, you're going to be getting all kinds of prizes if you come down because they're going to be handing out misdemeanors to everybody who shows up here to the church. And that's what these people risk when they come down to the church. If they show up on Sunday, they could in fact be given these citations, these misdemeanors for not complying with the judge's restraining order. But I have to admire what Pastor Rob is doing here because like so many other pastors that have come under the gun for this, it's absolutely ridiculous. They have every right to keep their church open. Um, and whether, you know, he's willing to put, he's willing to sacrifice. You know, you see people that are willing to sacrifice for Christ. I mean, he's another pastor here who's willing to do that. He doesn't care about his own well-being. He'll go to jail. He says if they want to, you know, physically come in and try to force him to shut down, that's one thing. But he is not going to abide by these orders because Ventura County had the nerve to say that by his church staying open, it's putting public health at risk and in danger and said that even though nobody in the church has tested positive, that it's only a matter of time before somebody were to test positive. If look, the way I see it, they want someone there in the church to test positive. They want nothing more. They wish probably that this whole entire church had tested positive because we could just try to prove their point even more, but that's not the case. So still, they're sticking to their guns, just saying, nope, shut it all down. So Pastor Rob, Godspeak Calvary Chapel, they're holding services this coming Sunday. He pointed out, look, we're essential too, just like a liquor store, you know, just, you know, just like a, you know, a marijuana store, whatever the case may be. You know, they're not shutting grocery stores down. Of course they can't. You have thousands of people that are in those every single day. It makes no sense to keep a church shut down, but this is what they're doing. They don't want the gospel out there. That's the last thing that these people want right now, especially in California with the dictators and the tyrants that run that state. It's absolutely terrible to see. I'm in full support here, Pastor Rob McCoy. They definitely need our prayers. Again, guys, I'll put more information down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk. 
Vi ses.